today is going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm actually going to show you a couple tips for getting organized and this all starts in a planner. So one of the things I like to do are use stickers that, you know, say to do or don't forget or meeting. So the lovely people at Oh Hello Stationery Co. Um, gave me a coupon to get some stickers. So of course I picked out a bunch and went way over the coupon and ended up spending my own money, but totally worth it because I love this, um, these stickers. If you're interested in seeing what they have, I'll include a link in the description box and it will give you, um, I believe $5 off your first order. Okay, so let's start off. Okay, so can you see that this? I have to keep, I'm gonna kind of do this here. First thing I'm gonna point out is I have a meeting on Wednesday the 9th. So I am going to put a sticker here that says meeting. I am part of my district's technology meeting, uh, technology committee. So we have bi-monthly meetings and this week happens to be one. Okay. What else is going on? Okay. Um, these two days here, we have to give tests to our entire district as part of our teacher evaluation day plan. I don't know what you want to call it. So I'm going to mark those down. So not everything is going to be a sticker. We, we call them the Terranovas. Terranova. Terranova. Okay. Let me flip back to see what else I got going on. Okay. Also on this day, I have, as part of our district technology team, we are required to do tech extra help hours. So I'm going to put that in here. Tech extra help. And it is at 3 p.m. I mean, if this had been last week, I would have had a million meeting stickers because I had all of um, the IEP meetings for the kids that I have, so that was a ton of things. So, I want to put one of these to-do stickers over here along the side for, even though it's on Thursday and Friday, I will just look at it throughout the whole week. So, if I think of some of the things that I need to do, so I need to do, um, I also do the yearbook, so I need to work on getting ID cards for some of the kids, and I need to proof the portrait pages. And I'm sure as the week goes on, I'll add in things that I need to grade, and what's going and what else. And so, oh, I thought of another thing. I want to use these don't forget stickers. Color I've not really used blue that much. And I'm gonna put that kind of up. Can you see this? I'm gonna put this up here. Kind of uh, can I peel this up? It's kind of uh, alright, we're just gonna leave it because I stuck it down before I was truly ready. But it is what it is. Okay, so, oh, I already forgot it. I already remembered another thing for, for Monday. I know, I jump around a ton. We have a, I like sticker not able to put things straight. So we have a faculty meeting and I'm actually doing a technology presentation app at that. And it is 
245 and it's in the library. Okay, so for next week, I have a couple of kids who go to special locations when we do these big tests. So I'm going to write down where they're going. I have Jacob going to room 222. I have Zach going to room 231. And Sean is going to room 108. Okay, what else is happening? Oh! It's that fun time of year when we have to work on our budgets. And we do our super early because some sort of thing with, uh, it's right in the middle, some sort of thing with pre-ordering, we can get last year's rates, I don't know. So my supply orders need to be in by Friday. Let's see, what else is going on? I am doing a tech presentation, you can see tech is like my name here, on Saturday. Even though I don't really put things in here that are for the weekend, but it's kind of school weekend related. So I have that presentation. And then, um, got to mark down that we're losing that hour of sleep. Sad face on that because we have to add one hour. So this is basically a way that I plan out my week. Um, I have so many things going on, so I really try to be as organized as possible. Does it always happen? No, it does not. Oh, see, as we're talking, I thought of another thing to do. Um, we're having our spring fling coming up, and I need to make sure I get someone fling to take pictures at that. Okay, anyway, so, Something like this really helps me get organized. And are stickers absolutely necessary? Of course not. But they just, for me at least, they make my planner look a little nicer and it's a little more enjoyable to plan and I need to kind of trick myself into planning. So this is what it looks like. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment box below. And if you do any sort of planning, whether you're using stickers or not, I'd love to hear about it because I'm always looking for different things to do. So, you know, comment below with how you plan. Um, if you have a link to a blog post, you talked about it or anything, just let me know. And if you are interested in checking out what kind of stickers they have, there's also a bunch of stickers for kind of everyday use if you plan just you know, your personal planner, you don't plan your school planner. We have, we, they have stickers like that as well. I found these cute little stickers in my stash with, um, that are kind of school related. So I thought I'm gonna kinda, I thought I'd spruce them up. You know, like this day has nothing here. So let's just say, let's have some school spirit. Oh, also. I have these science stickers that I got, and I think these are super cute. They're kind of Big Bang Theory inspired stickers. So I'm going to put one down. I think the, I'm gonna use this Bazinga one because I think that works perfect for Terra Nova days because it's like a big joke to, not a joke, but it's like, oh, gotcha, we get to, Take, everyone gets to take a test now. Have fun with that. So that's that. All right. Let me know in the comments box below what you do. And if you have any thoughts or anything, I want to hear them. So I'll see you soon in a new video. Please like and subscribe if you have not yet. 
and check out my blog at the techsavvyscienceteacher.com or if you are interested in specifically science stuff, not technology stuff, you can find me at savvysecondaryscience.blogspot.com. Links will be down below. Bye.